All right, everyone, today we are working on a radiator swap out for a 96 Mustang. This car was parked because it was smoking. Turns out the smoking was just some leakage from the top part of the radiator here where there's a crack onto the engine and steaming. Yep, just steam. So the car sat parked for Oh, about a year, maybe, maybe a little less than a year, uh, before I got it. And it sat parked in my garage for nine months while we waited to figure out what to do with it. So we got it back to our farm, and we're doing some work where all the tools and all the parts came. He took off the uh, outer shroud here that covers over the headlights and the radiator so this was a good two-in-one job for us we just did the headlight swap out so what have you done so far um, I loosened up these it looks like this just pops out on this post mm hmm and there's another one like it over here and I don't know if I have to remove it or if it just kind of okay I don't know yet and then I took the cap off the overflow hose um, it's just an electric fan so I guess I'm just gonna end up Unwiring the electric fan. Looks like this is probably transmission cooler lines. Mm -hmm. and then upper and lower radiator hoses. I think that's actually it on this one. So this is literally a couple of uh, wrench type yeah. tools and pull it out and put it back in. Yeah, not bad. I might have to take the shroud. Yeah, I'll have to take the this. It doesn't really have a shroud for the fan. It's just electric. I, I suppose this would be the shroud. It just doesn't have a, you know, shaft here. So the shroud, there's a little bolts right here. Not too bad. We did our Suburban two years ago, I think. And it was the same situation. It had been overheating. Um, I pulled over on the side of the road because it actually blew and smoke was everywhere. So we let it cool and added the water. Don't add cold water to a hot radiator. You'll crack it. A lot of these have just a plastic uh, tank reservoir on the sides and aluminum in the center. So for $50, I think it was, online, we were able to get a new radiator here. It was free shipping. It came from the same place as the headlights, so everything came all together. Uh, we're in Michigan, and the place that we ordered from this last time was in, I want to say, Indiana, maybe Illinois. So it was two day shipping to us and the parts basically came a day before we were ready to do the job because we're farmers. We have other things going on. So this is what it looks like in here. Okay, so real easy off camera. This is um, the bolts that he showed that he took out and it's just got a bracket that sits in a slot down here at the bottom, um, right there. So took the screws out and it just lifted right out. That's your overflow. You take one bolt out of here, mm -hmm. you loosen this bolt because this is just a slot, Okay. and then it sits down in a clip down here, so once I get this wire, you're really just doing one. Um, they call people like us shade tree mechanics. We're baking out here in the sun in the driveway because we didn't bother to park this in the shade because the mosquitoes have been so bad this week. You might as well overheat in the sun. <laughs> to avoid the mosquitoes is basically how we're doing right now. There you go. I'm always real careful with these old plastic clips because yeah. they get so brittle. Um, yeah, it's just a plastic wiring harness that right, right there you just... Yeah, don't push on too much. Real easy pulling those out. I find those, um, it's like that on the motors. For the washer and dryers too. Okay. So this. My mantra is, it's already broken. How much more damage are you going to cause? I guess um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out. I think it's going to be easier for me to. Yeah. I thought I could just leave that bolt, but so here's your fan. Looks like it would have been smarter to have that hose off first. Okay, that's that. And there's your radiator. Did you get the new one out of the box yet? No. We'll show that. Um, a lot of times you can figure this stuff out by looking at your new one. 
So now, Got I'll burn lower radiator hoses, figure out about this, drain it, mm -hmm. and then these sometimes can be a bugger, but I notice on this, it's got a good spot to put another wrench here, mm -hmm. which really might help me. On my Suburban, it was that part that had cracked. Mm-hmm, right around here. Yeah. And we kind of knew it was coming, we just let it go. It wasn't overheating or giving us trouble, and I just started noticing a little bit of leakage. If you see green, you know, or if you're running just water in the summertime, um, we get freezing, so you got to run antifreeze. It's radiator. That's a cute little wrench you got there. Is it yours? Yeah. <laughs> These little wrenches work really good in washers and dryers because you don't have room for a big long handle. So I pick them up at yard sales and thrift stores because they get left at a workhouse or a different tool bag and it's good to always have them. So that's the ground for the battery. Yeah, it's in the mm -hmm. way. I'm trying to get this bracket loose, and I think I think I can do it without pulling the battery out. But that was kind of in my way of this deal. So. Man. Wasn't the um, replacement radiator about $50? This one? Yeah. Or was it more? 70. Oh, 70. 88. Okay. And it was 155 at O'Reilly's. And they were going to take two to three days, I think they said, to order it. Maybe they could get it the next day. 150 at CarQuest. Yeah. And we literally got this as fast FedEx to our farm as the stores some of the stores yeah they had to get them from like a hub somewhere so why you know yeah it worked out they're all coming from the same place and they all say china on one when they show up so oh, the headlights are not china okay they say Ta taiwan you know what though i just took a sticker off of some wood chairs and it says republic of china and made in taiwan were they the same it was one sticker Taiwan and China the same? I, I don't know. We don't need Now they just say ROC. Oh. They, they shorten it all up. I don't know my Asian geography. I don't think we even have to worry about it. <laughs> I don't plan on touring uh, anywhere. All right. If I go to any, anywhere, I'm, I'm going to Sweden and I'm going to ride the rails with my son and we're going to eat cheese and charcuterie plates and explore and see pretty farmland. It's the getting there. He won't fly and I won't take a boat. Well, I'll take a boat and you can fly and I'll see you there. <laughs> or I can just stay here. Ah, but then you'll never see all the beautiful islands and things. We want to go see right. Scotland and Ireland. See what's going on with that guy. <laughs> There. Okay. Oh, we gotta drain something. Now I can tell you, I know what he's using right now. It's called vice grips. I think it's hilarious that this pair of vice grips was the steering wheel for the Dodge in an emergency situation. I actually lost the steering wheel and had to go into Home Depot so that I could finish what I was doing. And I was on my way to Home Depot and I was literally across the road, so it worked out. Go. A little tighter on that one. Alright, that was what, 13? I didn't hear before. I just heard you ask if it, or say that you thought it was metric. 13? Mm -hmm. That was. That one was on there. This is why you see the old timers with tons of tools 
they uh, talk about that in the movie Gran Torino. Where'd, where'd you get all this stuff? You don't get it all at once. You get it one job at a time. Go to these auctions and there's pieces and parts that come in lots. So you end up with more extra parts than you needed. We've got garage sale tools from the neighborhoods where that was filmed. <laughs> That's right. Detroit. That's Lots right. We went to a, a big auction years ago and the guy worked for Ford and lived down by Detroit and his well, came from grandfather and all that. Things for three generations sold on this auction and we bought the tool bins that were filled full of stuff. I mean there were Packard parts and is that where the Packard frame came from? Yep. Okay, so. Alright, now she's going to lift right out. Mm -hmm. A little more drainage. If you have pets around, you want to make sure that you dispose of this where it needs to be disposed of. Uh, 55 gallon drums, 15 gallon kegs, you know, your local parts places sometimes take this stuff in. Now, let's take the new one out of the box and see if it's the same like we should have done the day it showed up. <laughs> So in this case, it's hard to see, but this is a seam from the factory in the mold, and it actually split right here and was leaking right out at that seam mold. So something was wrong there, but it lasted that long. Yeah, uh, you see it. Whenever I touch it right there, it gets wet a little bit more right back. All right, well, how's it look? It looks the same from. 10 feet. It's got this thing, this thing, it comes with these for these things. Oh, nice. New metal thing here. Green good. thing, this thing, this thing. Okay. I think it's got all the things. Look. Things are good. Bottom things. All right, check it for any cracks. <laughs> um, this was delivered FedEx, which is a bonus. It had good packing material in the box, um, but if you get a crushed box, you could have trouble and not even know it. This one looks too tall, but it might be because it's sitting on the box. Where? Nah, I don't want to get the oil off the box. So anyway, I think I think it's good. Okay. So it's great. What about this little? Oh, I see. It's white. And Let's see here, it's black. It kind of looked like in this one. No matter what configuration of car you got, it was the same radiator, or even a, a V8, and everything just listed the same one, so yeah. they might all have the same one. So that just goes to show the 50% uh, markup at stores is yeah. holding, because that was the first price they told me um, on the O'Reilly's search was 144 to 150 and then he tells me, oh, it's 155 so he wasn't giving me any cheaper options that were showing up on the website. Yeah. Isn't it too bad that girls can't call the store like that and even get as good of a price as when the husband calls? Yeah. It's like every time they're all girl, you know. I got it sitting down in that little tab. All right. So just direct fit back in. Pipe dope your transmission cooler lines. This is just sitting in the mounting bracket. You've got your bottom hose attached, and that's just a spring clip. Oops, I just heard a screw.
Mm-hmm. It's charging in the car. Yeah, something happened, I don't know. Well, there's mud, too. I guess we got two cars to wash. This part is a little off. If this sits all the way down in the new clip, mm -hmm. this hole doesn't line up. Okay. So... Maybe this is hitting one of the two. So it was a little slow trying to get it to line up just right with the bracket. He had to raise the little metal clip to its highest point for it to line up right because he was having this part here hit but see this little piece right here he was able to pinch it and get it a little higher it didn't have this little gap uh, here to set it in place it was bigger I think that adjustment was just making it more model friendly for different models maybe I had to put it a little higher than it was meant to be. It's just a, it was just a little off. But. So, electric uh, fan hooked back up. Mounting screws going back in. You know, total, I would like to give you guys an idea of times on this. This is his first Ford radiator to do. Um, where you at now, like a half an hour, maybe? Yeah, if you, if you did more than one, Man, you could have this done in like 15 minutes. Yeah. It's not bad. But of course, we're walking into a tool shed to grab tools as we go. Yeah. I mean, we're... We don't have a tool cart, you know, no, we're as a foot away as from us. Do it. First, first one we've done. So it's really not bad. Anybody can do it. Yeah. We save so much money. 70 to, I mean, I, I don't know what the what cost to have it done. But. Um... I worked at a car dealership for a couple of weeks doing billing in the service department and I always felt so guilty telling people what their totals were when they came to pay out of pocket because each job had a certain amount of time tagged to it. So even though the entire job might take them an hour, each individual part could get billed for five hours and they got paid that way. So the actual mechanics would come in to the office to tell me how to do it, you know, total wise. And it was a scam. It was. They go by the book. Yep. They, you know. Hour, like, that's yeah. As many minutes for this job. Yep. Even if it's, you know, um, master mechanic who's done it a million times or a brand new guy, uh, they all get paid different hourly pay rates, but the bill build rate per dealership is the same. So as many uh, beginner mechanics they could get in there, the more money they made. Just like everything, you know. The guy with the seniority is kind of training the other guys, but... Well, I guess you didn't stay there because you didn't like doing that. We're doing the headlight job and the radiator. Uh, we ate breakfast. We're doing this while the kids are waking up and getting their morning started. Um, this is just something that we're being able to do while the hay is drying and, you know, big success. Great success. <laughs> All right, so now, oh, overflow tank. Mm -hmm. This deal. <laughs> it's impossible to go in and uh, take over somebody else's job and know what they've done because, like for me, when I first started doing appliance repair, I would take pictures and take video. 
which led to, you know, the appliance section on YouTube, which basically got us our start. Um, knowing what went where and in what order, because I like to lay my parts out right next to me to know. And he's taking them over to the patio table, <laughs> putting them over there. tank. Well, I'd say we're missing a screw. Well, I heard you drop one, I thought. I picked that one up. Okay. So these... All that copper is bars leak? Yeah. Okay, I see. It's all glistening. Yeah. They didn't know it was a... I don't... You know, you're not going to fix the crack with yeah, um, you see it wipes right off on your finger. Um, I was noticing, I said to him, this has been in for this service job oh, before. Oh, I remember where it is. This is a new hose and it says Daco. Where's that grabber thing? Oh, I put it back in the toolbox. A little magnetic grabber. Um, you have to take this off for air before you fill the radiator. So they knew this was coming and told her, you know, this hose is bad, let's swap that and we'll address this later. It had a new, raid, uh, a new alternator in 2019. I think, let's see, the battery says 2018 and this was the local guy that did that. And I'm guessing he did the alternator because he wrote the date on the battery too, so it might have been closely related. Let's see, 9 and 5. That's 9 months later she had to do the alternator after the battery. New tires in 2020, I think. And new wheels. I don't know if she did the paint or not. This is disappointing. Other than that, it's pretty good. We'll get the kids washing and waxing it today to do a detail and clean up the wheels. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, we need to put that in the car too. I dropped a file for the chainsaw in the garage in the cement block. I don't know if we'll get it back or not, but I have no idea how deep it goes. See, they just float. Mm hmm Okay, so here's the overflow tank, and that is going to sit down in that bracket that I showed and get bolted up here in the front. And where did the overflow hose go to? Okay. What does the overflow do? When your radiator's totally full, the expansion and contraction of the water needs somewhere to go. So basically, if you didn't... So the overflow goes into this, when it cools down, it pulls it back. So basically, what would happen if you didn't have a tank like that, you would expand with heat, lose your fluid on the ground, and then the fuel fluid would be lost, and your radiator would never be full when you're cold. Okay. So it just kind of goes back and forth as it heats and cools. Mm -hmm. Now what about radiator fluid uh, with this? I know with the Suburban it took that special Dex cool. This is just green. Mm -hmm. Regular old stuff. I don't know what had when it was new, but that's what they had in it. That's what we used too, so. Okay. 
because the engine's all still full of a lot of the engines still full of the same stuff so we'll start getting it refilled and test it out so so now you just have just this cover and the radiator cap um yeah i did tighten up these by the way for me when hooking them to yeah. for safety um yeah i only had crappy put the cover on it tools. maybe after we run it Maybe we'll run it without the cover for a bit and kind of be able to watch in down the sides better. Okay. Well, that's that. And where's your cover? Okay. This is the plastic cover that he took off or shroud um, that has everything. So, somewhere it went in for a service and yeah. it's got this sticker on it. Yeah. I don't know what BG service is, but we can just get rid of that. It doesn't even have anything written on it anymore. There you go. So, he'll put that back on later. Okay. All right, fill it up and fire it and see how it is. So we were wondering, what can we put the radiator fluid into? A kitty litter box would work really good. We happen to have um, this old uh, dishwashing tub, which is about the size of a kitty litter box. He decided this is the size of the radiator and there won't be any missing. It is a, uh, they call it a multi-purpose mixing tray. It's actually for concrete. We use it for butchering the chickens and everything. <sighs> throw your scraps in it. So there you go. A food tray would work if you're not going to use it for food again. Oh, you still missed. <laughs> Mostly water. Mm -hmm. He was worried about it being a bit too green and having it run out. It's, it's pretty watery. He said he could see in the cap evidence of bars leak. So at some point, somebody knew what was going on and tried to put off doing something about it. The lady just didn't seem to know anything about what was going on with it. It was dealership maintained, dealership bought, and it was little things adding up. I think she put into it what it's worth now. Okay, that's assuming it's a metric. Loosen right up, eh? So it's a two part deal. Does that come inside of the new radiator? Yeah. The adapter sure. piece from the radiator to the cooler line? There's a, just a little coil in there, I guess, and that does your transmission fluid. Kind of weird that they integrate them, but it seems like it'd be... Cause if one fails, it fails your other. I don't know. With data combine. Now, where did the term monkey wrench come from? I don't know. I have a hard time knowing the proper names of different kinds of wrenches because when I grew up, things were called monkey wrench. Like, I have these adjustable plier tools that I use for uh, pipe fittings when I do plumbing. They're not a pipe wrench. I know what a pipe wrench is now, so I assume that they're called adjustable players, but maybe they're called wide jaw adjustable players. I'm not real sure. But my dad wasn't real handy with mechanical stuff, so things are just called funny names. Don't worry about my face. I do worry about your face. My face is not on camera. Anyway. Come here. You, you are a disaster. What? 
How long have you been going on? I don't know. Have you been on film? Mm -mm, not at all. I threw my clothes on and came huge. outside. You're hurting me. It's a huge black. Smile. It hurts.